the Taj Mahal, Mumbai, India. Arguably the grandest hotel in Mumbai, if not India. The 560 room Taj Mahal Palace has been the place to wine, dine and sleep since the days of the Raj. It has put the tragedy of 2008 terrorist attacks behind it, to take center stage in the city again. So the ghost stories behind this grand palace. One of the hotel's architects, W.A. Chambers, threw himself from the fifth floor balcony. Apparently he was distressed when he returned from a trip abroad to discover that the hotel's design had gone in a completely different direction in his absence. In the tragic twist of fate, his ghost is said to wander the halls of the old wing of the hotel. He has been seen by numerous guests just wandering around wailing and crying about the fact that that wall shouldn't be there and this one should. Still, one of India's most glamorous hotels. Rooms start from, guess, 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 200 pounds per person. Yippee. The Carl Beck House, Ontario, Canada. So Carl Beck, bit of an asshole, and I'll tell you why. This large, picturesque county house was built by a Canadian lumber magnate named Carl Beck, dickhead. After his wife died, his eldest daughter Mary took over as head of the household. Despite raising her younger siblings, she was left only a single dollar in her father's will. Now seriously, raise the guy from the dead, give him a good fucking slap, and then put him back in the dead. That's what I say. Yeah, so a single dollar. The rest of the estate was divided amongst the siblings that she had given up her life to care for. You know, it's one thing looking after somebody, it's another looking after multiple people. You can imagine, sure, you know when they say giving up your life, pretty much giving up your life. To take care of everyone, to get them into school, to make pack lunches, to do this, to wipe their noses, to wipe their asses. Yeah, it's 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 a job, eh? The ghost stories in this place um, goes as follows. You know, guests staying at the Colbeck house have reported seeing a, a suited up man being chased by a very angry woman wearing a dark colored blouse and skirt. Do I have to ask you to guess who the hell they, they are? You know, I mean, really? That's the daughter and she is going to kick his fucking ass from here to kingdom come and he's going to live through it. I, 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 you know what? I think that's his hell. His hell is getting chased by his daughter every day where she's trying to kick, put a boot up his ass. And I hope she bloody well gets it right. Really. The current situation in this house is you can spend the night on Airbnb with prices starting from $98 a night. If you're unafra- unafraid of the thrill that is, the house frequently lands on list of the most haunted Airbnb properties you can stay in. Book your tickets now. Now I really hope that I am uh, pronouncing this correctly. Cheyune 81, commonly known as Cheyune Church, was first built in 1910. Not as a church, but as the North China Union Language School to teach Mandarin Chinese to uh, missionaries from the West. From the 1930s, the Chaoyang Men neighborhood of Beijing's most imposing house served as a Catholic church until the communist government took control of the building in the 1950s. Truth be told, there's still a bit of dispute 
as to the building's true origins. The ghost stories in this place. One grisly tale about Cheyonne's church origins suggest it was the home for a Chinese National Party official in 1949. That story didn't end so well. So depending on your luck, you'll either come across the government's official mistress, who killed herself there after their breakup, or a group of three drunk construction workers who broke into the building and were never seen again. Okay, I wonder why the fuck they were never seen again. They broke into the building and then they just fucking disappeared. Um, um, okay, that kind of fucking, uh, I don't know. Eerily, the temperature of the house is said to be much colder than the rest of the Beijing, or the rest of Beijing, even during the summer. So we got built-in air conditioning that you cannot see. The house is still abandoned though. It's considered the most haunted place in Beijing and is left undisturbed by the city's wider population. Weary of the ghostly householders. Yeah. We need to go and investigate the shit out of that place. Unless, of course, there's an opportunity to film a movie there. Oh, well, you see, exactly. Me going there, Parix going there and filming the shit out of it. Love that place. Um, yes, I think that would be great. Moving on. Kelly's Castle in Batu Gaja, Malaysia. This unfinished mansion, built in Moorish Revival and indo saracenic style, was started by a Scottish planter named William Kelly Smith. It was meant to be as be a gift or meant to be a gift for his wife but sadly he died of pneumonia in lisbon portugal where he was visiting to purchase a lift for the property okay so he wanted a lift and he wanted to put it in there great so they couldn't build stairs i don't know neither his wife nor his children could bear the bear to return to the property and other family didn't wish to return to malaysia so it was left to decay and become derelict. Photographers visiting the area for its nature and wildlife have claimed to see ghostly figures standing by the window frames. The man himself, Mr. Kelly Smith, despite dying in Portugal, is still said to haunt the second floor hallway. No doubt disappointed. His grand vision was never completed. That's a long way to travel from Portugal to Malaysia. Uh, uh, okay. Anyway, yeah, he's still there. The current situation with this place is the Kelly's Castle still stands to this day. And you can embark on a private tour to fully explore the building and its history. Tours are available daily from Kuala Lumpur, which is two hours away. I'm surprised they didn't turn it into a bed and breakfast. Moving on to the next one. For all you South Africans out there, I think you're going to find this quite funny. But anyway, this is how it is spelt. And I'm going to say it the way it's spelt. Casa da Pusia Silvia, Silva, Bocota, Colombia. So in brackets, Pusia Silva. <laughs> Located in the Candelaria neighborhood of Bogota. Casa de la Pusia <laughs> was the home of the great modernist poet Jose Asuncion Silva. He was known to be quite morbid. He lived through several personal tragedies, including the death of his beloved sister Alvira. He also lost many of his finest works, handwritten manuscripts, during a shipwreck. So he was on a ship and and or whatever I don't know but the ship went down and he survived Jose died in the house in 1896 at the young age of 30 in 1995 it was declared a Colombian national monument for its historic significance the ghost stories behind the house is Senor Silva himself is said to still haunt his house 
Visitors frequently report uh, hearing the poet muttering under his breath from other rooms. I wonder what he's muttering. Under his breath. Um, they've also seen him standing uh, when they're standing outside. They see him standing by the window and staring down at them, etc. So he's either looking at them from the window or he's muttering under his breath. One of the two, I don't know. But anyway, that sounds pretty good. Cool. Casa de Pusia Silva remains a listed national monument in Colombia. Visitors and locals alike can see the house during one of its regular poetry readings of literary workshops. Guys, thank you so much for watching the next top five that we've put out. I'm so happy to be doing this and I'm glad that you're all enjoying it. Please could you give us a thumbs up there as a like and subscribe to our channel. It helps a lot. It helps us get further and it also helps us make more videos. We are planning on going out as well and investigating. So please don't think that we're only going to be doing these. We are going to be doing other stuff as well. We're going to keep the channel alive and we are planning on making sure that we just bring the entertainment across to you thank you so much for being here thank you for tuning in and this is perex out